Yo, what's good, guys? Jason here today from Fitness Gamers, and today we're bringing to you MLB The Show 21 Unlimited Packs. I'm not going to say unlimited stubs because that'll be a lie, but unlimited packs. It'll take you about, you'll probably be able to get about five to six packs an hour. Do the math, do a couple every day at the end of the week, rip packs open, and you're going to get unlimited packs. You could potentially get 100 packs a week, and that'll probably lead up to you getting some good diamonds. So I'm going to explain the concept now. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so very simple. So you're going to pretty much go to single players, right? You're going to go to the showdown, and you're going to do the new second inning program showdown. It was gone for about a week because of the first inning program, but now we got it back, so now we're able to do this again. It's not a glitch. It's just a way to get unlimited packs, and the theory is you don't lose stubs. You're going to draft your team, get in, quit, and you're going to quit until you get to the first boss battle. Shout out to Ampo for letting me know about this, and a bunch of other people as well have been on this. So you want to just get in, quit, get in, quit until you get to the boss. The boss is easy. as Michael Kopek, so make sure you draft lefty heavy. Well, guys that smash righties mostly lefties then you do have some guys that are righty on righty and they smash as well like the kirsten hero 42 all you gotta do is score two runs and you win the challenge that's all it is if you want you can wait till you get two strikes if you're trigger happy just swing away but if you wait till your two strikes he's gonna walk you a couple times and you'll be pretty much done in about five to seven minutes the fastest you can get this done guys is five minutes five minutes is the absolute fastest i'm not gonna sit down and lie to you and be like yo you could do this in less than three no It'll take you five minutes to get a pack, and you don't lose any stubs. It costs you 500 stubs to get in, and you get the 500 back plus your packs. You do this about six to ten times a day, and in a week, you will have 100 packs. If you can't play much, you can only play an hour a day. You don't want to play comp, and you want to grind. This is the perfect way to, to farm XP and to grind packs. 100 packs is a hefty amount. You are sure to run into a diamond or two if you do that. Sucks, there's no ball in as a habit pack, so you're going to get 100 standard MLB The Show 21 packs. But nonetheless, it is still viable and it's still useful. You get cards, you can build up your free agents, complete those collections. You're going to get a bunch of cards either way. You're going to be able to sell them later on. It depends on what you want to do. Now, I explained on my theory on how to grind. I don't do this often. I did this to show you guys how it works i'm not a fan of doing this often i'm not a fan at all i'm mostly a fan of doing the br programs and the event programs but this is something that can lead you to a successful team in mlb the show 21 and diamond dynasty early on in the year simple so you draft go you quit leave quit leave quit leave that's all there is to it um it doesn't get any much simpler than that it is a bit time consuming. Like I said, it'll take you anywhere from five to seven, five to nine minutes, maximum 10. But that means you were wasting out and you didn't do it right away. You should be able to do it rather quickly. Then uh, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I think it's on veteran, maybe the difficulty. I'm not too sure. Kopech does throw hard. So, I mean, it's not the easiest of bosses. He's throwing 102 miles an hour. Uh, the two seamers coming in at 98. The off speed is dropping to like 85, 87. So it is a bit of a little, it's a bit of a task at the least. It, this ain't no walk in the park, if, if I'm going to be honest. But yes, you want unlimited packs. You want unlimited XP. This is the way to do it. You know, it doesn't have to be 100, man. It doesn't have to be 100. It could be 70 packs, 10 packs, 20, 30. And this is a way to do it if you're not that great at this game as far as doing BRs, events, and ranked seasons. That's my method, but this is another method for the, you know, the guy that doesn't play every day like me. The guy that doesn't have time to play every day like me, then this is something you would want to do. If you don't have time to play every day, unfortunately, you're not going to be better than the guys that do play every day. That's just how it works, right? If I work out, I'm going to get muscles because I'm working out. If you don't work out, you're not going to get muscles. You have to work out to get muscles, so to speak. If you don't study, you're not going to pass that test. That's the reference I'm trying to give you guys. So, but yes, this is the way to get unlimited packs. I hope you guys found this informative. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I'll bring you more of these MLB, how to this, how to that, unlimited packs, unlimited this, free packs, free vouchers, all the news you need, I'll bring it to you. My roster predictions are pretty good, so make sure you guys check those out. The roster predictions are spot on. Those are really, really good and informative, and you, well, you could invest in good cards now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys even like, comment, and sub. JC from Fittest Gamers. Remember to brush your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ass. Shout out to the whole FG fam. Much love always to all you boys, man. Thank you guys so much. Please get us to 4K soon. Please check out our other videos. Please come back for more. 
JC, God bless you all, the whole team, Xander, Z-Man, Neighborly Views, Andrew House, Oatmeal Cookie, DB Fitness, hey, hey, HJ Fitness, Harry Montero Fitness, myself, SJC, Goat Bound, Chris, all right, the whole team, God bless you guys all, man, I'm out.